Greetings, folks. Uh, I hope you like my lovely blue screen. Actually, it's kind of, you know, a little bluish, greenish coloring. Yeah, I'm still working on the background, so it is nicely rendered, isn't it? I like that little outdoor feel. Anyways, to my dilemma, as it were, uh, yeah. Like I said in my last video about my dilemma and what I was doing of the manga, uh, yes, if you haven't, uh, the link is in the doobly doob, or I will probably post something up here. Or is it there? Somewhere up there, or down below. Anyways, um, the dilemma now is still going on. Um, I still don't have an idea what is the title. I don't think I will. Uh, I think I'll just drag on uh, the whole thing. I might just call it uh, not another um, hentai manga. But, you know, except just the word hentai would be the letter H. But anyways, um, originally how I started the issue was going to start off with Sydney, the character Sydney making a video. And... Um, and she starts off in a crazy sort of way. And this, by the way, the character Sydney is somewhat based off of uh, Sid Snap uh, because I got the idea from her video of what she would like as a hentai manga, or, you know, or any kind of hentai, really. So I figured, all right, make a manga that she would like. And it'd be very simple. All right, beautiful drawings, check, you know, Gorgeous women and other characters. All the characters are going to be gorgeous. Because I'm a good artist. And um, besides all that, um, a lot of graphic detail in every little thing I will put in. Um, um, am I going to color it? I think I will. If I do, the colored versions, uh, I probably will have that underpaid but no matter what this project is going to be only on only fans so the link to it is down below and i started it on the first um i didn't put up a first issue yet or a first page just only the teaser page or you know i guess you can consider it a teaser it's more of a character design of what i came up with the character of sydney yeah. I mean, kind of looks like Sid Snap, except bigger hair and bigger tits. And I want that same vibe that uh, Sid Snap does, you know, of how boisterous and obnoxious of her character is online. So, do kind of the same thing. Well, anyways, originally it started was uh, my character, Sydney, uh, making a, a video on hentai and her obsession of said uh, forms of media, you know, of anime, manga, Dolce and she, and all in games, and blah, 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 blah. Well, it will show, like, you know, sections of it, you know, go from one cut to the next cut of, you know, showing overlap of her making the video and at the very end she just sighs and then she talks to her roommate who just goes you know or i originally i had it like that and then she basically has her way with it that was like in the very beginning of what it was and i had was the dilemma of is all this it a fantasy? Is she delusional? Um, but I decided, okay. It's going to actually start off with um, this mysterious person we don't see. We just, at the most, we see their hands, if at all. And this person gets a video from Sydney and it's I guess you can see the future or whatever. But anyways, Sydney makes a video and telling this person that they're their true love. And that going to tell them the story of how they met 
and what she always wanted to to tell this person and with that out of the way in the very beginning it goes into her you know in the first part it was her monologuing specifying what she wants to say and then but says I want to tell you the story of how we met and how we uh, I found you my true love and then it goes into kind of what I was originally writing which I'm gonna change it up but um, the thing is I'm having the story a little more different right now this is what I'm working as okay um, it's gonna be hentai there's gonna be romance the character Sydney has a nice house living with the person but not until a few issues into it is when you see what really is going on Sydney one day I think this would be issue maybe five or six or so maybe a little later maybe a little sooner she takes off her makeup and takes off the hair and you find out that she is not who she seems to be she's a completely different person she is the real person of who is Sydney is completely opposite of this character that she portrays to be online and then it goes in and out uh, the stories will continue following her tales uh, in normal life how she would normally looks like and falling for people certain people over time but I decided one of the people that she falls for is gonna the story is gonna be very similar to a lot of uh, Molly Ringwald films where Molly Ringwald is the main female character that is considered the odd duck as it were in the girls uh, she's not super popular she's pretty but she's not really poor she's she's just average or whatever and she falls for a guy that's good looking that has money and then you find out that guy is a fucking douchebag a dick you know is a horrible person if you don't think so, look at one of the Molly Ringwald films that she did during the 80s. Um, the better one of hers, I would say, would have to be The Breakfast Club. Because she wasn't the main character that the story went on. But her archetype of her character that she's always has is that. But in that one, she's the rich bitch. She's a prude. She wants to say that she did it, but she's too afraid. And if, when she says it, she wishes that she can take it back. So she's a prude and she's a tease. And then her character in the, the other films that she's in, you know, like Pretty in Pink, and, uh, I think Sixteen Candles and a few others. But either way. I'm gonna kind of take hints from those films of how they play out. Yeah, I'm sorry it keeps on going in and out. Uh, I'm still working on uh, the settings with this and the cameras acting up, and yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. I think that's kind of it, and I still don't know what the story is going to be called, uh, but, okay. My original idea was, if you didn't know, make a manga that I decided that is going to be kind of based off of the characterization that it's not it in her videos, uh, and I will show you what 
If you haven't looked at my site, I'll show you right now what I did and I drew it and I colored it. See, that's the character. Okay. So. <laughs> so I decided that I'm going to make a story that you would want. But give it a lot of twists and turns and make it sappy but also fucked up. Uh, very sexual in some scenes. Uh, make the reader guess if any of this is real or fake or it's all of her delusions. But the truth is, um, it's all the above. Um, things I wanted it to be was basically it was going to be a character similar to her and maybe even her running into real Sid Snap, you know, the real Sydney, and she called her a, a fake, a fraud, you know, that she's copying her style and everything. And this character, I wanted her originally to be just a blonde white girl, whatever, and she will just live in Japan, lives in a nice big house, uh, has a roommate that she sleeps with, Falls madly in love with somebody. Well, actually, several somebodies over time. And it goes from one screwed up relationship after another. Uh, her delusions. Well, it becomes delusions later on. But I think I'll kind of combine a lot of different ideas together. Um, the thing is, I'm not like a really avid follower of Sid Snap videos of you know her stuff uh, I did saw a video that she did describe what she likes and uh, you know what she was like looking for in a manga or an anime or something like that uh, the hentai that she would like so I thought hey this would be the perfect guy um, best thing to do is just a quick you know one shot story that's not gonna really go anywhere so we'll see what goes on um and I wanted the character to live in Japan, like I said, uh, until I found out that the real Sydney, you know, you know, I found out that her dad is the one that called her Sid Snap. That was her nickname. That's why she has the name for her channel. And her real life name is Sydney. But I already had a character idea that I wanted to do. It was a character named Sydney a long time ago, but I didn't know what I was going to do. And originally, it was just kind of like a name, and I wasn't sure what her hair color was or anything like that. But I knew that she was going to be a slut. Straight up slut. That's basically it. Which she kind of morphed into this. Which I'm thinking it might change a little in the manga. Because I haven't actually drawn any pages or, you know, finalized drawings. Um, I found out the real uh, Sydney, the real Sid Snap. She um, lives in Japan. She does live with somebody that she is in love with. And that's her husband. <laughs> okay, or fiancé. I think they're married now. But anyways, um... So, yeah, and... Ay, 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 um, what else? Um, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So, uh, we'll see what this goes on. Um, I'll make most of the pages, I guess, for free, for, or for sort of. Well, either way, from now until, well, January, well, before, well, December 31st, actually, it will be free. Because, yeah, my subscription will be free to my OnlyFans page. Uh, it will not, uh, who knows what it will be. But it will definitely be of my artwork, drawings, and in time, which I'm thinking the more graphic stuff I will put behind a paywall. Uh, to make it a little more difficult for somebody that is underage that would view this. So, 
just kind of warning there is some graphic stuff that will be on it but don't worry i won't have that under a paywall so yada 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 all right oh, okay mm. oh and i will do is add a lot of the anime and hentai cliches in my manga and I will make references to a shitload of mangas and animes uh, and TV shows that you probably know, you might, maybe, who knows. Um, but okay, the character, she, for right now, is insane and I'm my idea was that this character, the reason why this particular Sydney, as it were, uh, her real life name was basically, um, when you find out this isn't her, she takes off the wig, takes off the makeup, her real name is, what, what did I say? Man, I forgot the damn name. Fuck. I mean, I had it was a cool idea for a name. Start with a K. Oh, oh. Well, anyways, her last name is going to be um, Fuji, because I had was a teacher named Fuji. Her last name is Fuji. Um, but I'll do is make references that she will, uh, will reminisce about of her growing up that she was no Mount Fuji. There is no, nothing uh, uh, Yama in that has to do with her whatsoever. Basically stating that when she was younger, she was flat-chested, and then when she got older, she was basically considered um, Fujiyama. Or the twin Fujiyamas. That's what the teaser call her. You know, when she was in high, uh, junior high to high school, I guess. But her character is actually a is after all that after high school within the story. But it will do is uh, some shots showing what happened and how she became who she was or is. And plus that she's also a, uh, uh, a person that suffered from Chernobyl. But which version of Chernobyl, I haven't really decided. Oh, no, Chernobyl, excuse me, not Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl. <laughs> it's like I was thinking about Chernobyl and, and Chernobyl. Uh, uh, Chernobyl. So, yeah. Middle school syndrome. So, which version? version of it you know i haven't really completely decided but i'm thinking with that of being her past of being ridiculed and she blossomed and physically as it were but she became recluse as it were and i would have like other boys that say that she had uh, she has a cool name but she's very plain and boring Nobody wants anything to do with her. She's not really interesting. It's just because she's uh, recluse and quiet and alone, afraid. And her other persona came out when she decided to make YouTube videos. And her other persona? Sydney. With no last name whatsoever, just known as simply a Sydney. Uh, yeah, she just kind of online persona. That's who she is. So yeah. Other than that, um, it's still a work in progress. Uh. I'll upload 
the first page or so on Monday that I am promising and I did promise that I would start uploading stuff on the first and I did which happened to be this particular picture <laughs> so uh, you can't call me a liar on that yes I did but I did not put the first actual page of the manga which I will do Monday and yeah I might make another one of these uh, dilemma videos uh, and show you the work in progress um, um, maybe within a few weeks or so I don't know uh, we'll see what goes on till then keep on drawing and always remember, whatever you do in life, always be awesome at it. And never give up. Jana.